Hey guys, Rob from ClicksGeek.com. Today's video, I want to go through setting up call tracking in your Google Ads account. And we'll be using, I usually use a third party call tracking software called CallRail. It's, in my opinion, the best out there, at least that I've used. And um, today, though, I'm going to show you how to do it using Google's own system and what they offer. So if you log into your Google Ads account and then you come up here to settings and tools, do go to conversions, you know, land on this page where I'm at right now. As you can see, I have some conversions set up in my account already. So all we're going to do is hit the plus sign here. Phone calls. So there's three different three different calls you can track here. Calls from ads, calls to a number on your website, or clicks on a number on your mobile sites. All right, so we're kind of going to run through what each of them is, and it tells you right here. So the first one is basically for your ad extensions and call-only ads. Track when someone calls your business directly from one of your ads. This option requires a Google forwarding number, so you have to make sure that's turned on in your account which are only available in certain countries. All right, so this is the one we're gonna to use to set up a call extension, and it's really simple. So actually, we'll just go through it. We'll set up, and you can name it whatever you want. Just say call extension. And I always set this at one, and then you can get a call length here. So what this is, is however many seconds you set here is when it's gonna fire as a conversion, as a lead in your account. I usually just do five seconds, because I wanna see if a call is if, if a keyword is driving an action, regardless. Um, so you can put whatever you want there. I usually put five seconds, or you can do 30 seconds if you wanted a full a minute, or, or 60 seconds, I mean, if you wanted a full minute to fire. And then you do include in conversions, last click, create, and continue. So that's it. That's how you set up a call extension. I'm just going to remove that so I don't get confused with it later. Next one we'll go down is calls to a phone number on your website. This is pretty cool. So track when someone interacts with one of your ads, then calls your business from a number on your website. All right. This option requires Google forwarding numbers, which remember you have to make sure you have forwarding turned on, which are only available in certain countries. You also need to add a tag to your website code. Okay. So we're going to set this one up to say calls from website. We're not going to use a value. We're going to make sure we have one. Um, I want it to fire again. Five seconds. Included conversions, create and continue. I probably already have that name, that's why. Just make sure it looks different. Create and continue. Install the tag yourself. So we're going to have to make sure we have the global site tag on every single page of your website or your landing page between the head tags. Next, you're going to drop your phone number in here. So let's do 555. All right, and create snippet. And then all we're going to do is take this code here. We're going to paste it right in our head tag on every page, the landing page, or on your website, every page of your website, whatever. It doesn't really matter in the head tag. And we're going to put it right below the where you have the global site tag in the head tag. And that's it. We're going to paste it in there. We're going to save it on our website, and we're going to hit next. And that's it. That's all it's going to do. So by creating that 555 number, what you're telling Google is, the number you want to actually, obviously I use 555, but the number you want to use is the actual whatever number is displaying on your website because that's what Google is going to search your site for and swap with a Google forwarding number to track the phone calls. Okay, so that's really, really important. Let's get rid of that one. And we'll do the last one. Clicks on your number on your mobile website. So track when someone clicks a phone number link on your mobile website. To use this option, you'll need to add a tag to your website. So it's, it's pretty much the same thing as what we just did. Click to call. We're not going to use a value. We're going to use one. Conversion window. See, we're not getting the seconds here. Create and continue. Install the tag yourself. Make sure you got the global site tag on in the head tag. And then you're just going to take this big chunk of code, copy it, and drop it in the head tag of your website or landing pages right below the global site tag. All right, copy the snippet below and paste it between the head tags of the page where you page where your phone number appears. All right, then you hit next and you're done. And that's really it. Those are the three options that Google gives you to um, set up your call tracking. It is free, obviously. Third-party call tracking softwares are not free. I think it's a plan we have for call rails like a couple hundred dollars a month or something like that but if you're just starting out and you need to you have to track phone calls like it's not even an option like you need to know if people are calling or else the campaign's going to you're not going to have accurate data and that's going to be a problem so if you if you don't have the money to use a third party call tracking uh, software then these one of these one of these might be good for you then i would always recommend 100% setting up 
definitely in every campaign a call extension tracking conversion and at least a number swap so you can track key which keywords are driving phone calls. All right, so I hope that uh, clears that up for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below this video. And um, also check out the description section. I'm going to put a few links in there from our uh, private Facebook group you can join and also a link to our course and a free ebook and a couple other things. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.